Big reason why floods are so deadly, and according to the United Nations International Flood Initiative, there's about half a billion people every year affected by them, about 25,000 who are killed by them. Warning is a very crucial component to saving lives and saving property. If you don't know what's happening, it hits you, and by the time you see it coming, it's too late to do anything about it. And a lot of flood disasters happen because either precip moves in from offshore where no one knows that this horrific heavy rain event is coming, or you get heavy rain in some remote area that's very mountainous and the landslides and flash floods come down. And again, no one knows that it's coming. But the whole point is that we need, we have radar information in places like the United States. We've got this multi-billion dollar radar network. We've got rain gauges in a lot of developing nations, but a lot of countries don't have the economic wherewithal to make those kinds of investments. There's a lot of other things that have to take precedence and for good reasons. And so satellites give us an affordable way to get this kind of information into different countries where instead of having to spend tremendous amounts of money on all this infrastructure, the satellites are already in place, the science is already there, and we're able to share this information with other countries and make it available to them. Specifically, we use cloud imagery from geostationary satellites and rely on the temperature of the clouds that you can get in the infrared. The basic idea is that colder clouds are generally higher in the atmosphere, they're thicker, they have more moisture in them, they produce heavier rainfall in general. It's not a perfect relationship, but it works pretty well, especially for those heavy thunderstorm type events that produce those quick response flash floods that kill a lot of people. It's only been the last few years that we've been interacting with, with um, weather, weather forecasters in Central America, in Southern Africa, in the Mekong Delta, in Pakistan, in Haiti, and we're getting information from a whole bunch of different places where we just never knew before how good our estimates are. The fact that people out there are using our data to make decisions and the fact that those decisions are making sometimes very profound differences in people's lives is the part that I really get the most gratification out of. The fact that somebody may be alive today and that a family may be in one piece today because they got information that I maybe in some small part helped provide is the part that I find the most gratifying.